Schönen guten Tag aus Berlin. Hi, my name is Matthias Grillich and today I'll talk to you about the optimal level of passion in science. So can that be an optimal level of passion? You can ask, isn't it always good to have more passion and to be passionate about your work? Um, well, of course, it's good to be passionate about your work. I think that's the driving force for many of us. And uh, given the hardships in academia, rejected papers and manuscripts and um, bureaucratic burdens and all that, I think the more passion you can muster, the better. But maybe pure passion is not always the best way to go. So this is something that I experienced myself when um, I got very excited about a particular idea. And for many, many year years, I pursued this idea not very critically, but just driven by the general level of enthusiasm about this idea and the interest in the scientific community and also my own interest and, and passion for the subject. What it made me do, though, is not critically question some basic underlying assumptions. And whenever there were some experimental data that did not quite fit in to the idea, then it was always easy to say, well, well, we don't really understand this well enough yet. And um, maybe with future science, we will, you know, we'll be able to make sense of this result as well. So it was basically always easy to have a, a cop out. <clears throat> and um, as, as, often, as is often the case in soils, with a, which is an extremely complicated system and a complex system, um, it's easy to always seek refuge in complexity. It's like, ah, well, we don't really know this so well yet, and there are so many interacting factors, and we don't really know what's going on. So that's always easy to do. Uh, but instead, it might be very good sometimes to dial back that passion and ask yourself, is the basic underlying assumption really correct? Which in my case, I think, um, looking back on this, it, it wasn't. And all it took was like a, a morning's worth of an experiment after literally eight years of working on that to just basically shed some serious doubt on, on, on that basic assumption. But that is exactly the point. Um, once you critically examine your assumption, once you, once you ask, what if this is all wrong? Or what if this is not as important as I think it is? Once you ask these very critical questions and you, you dial back on the enthusiasm a little bit, um, I think it actually um, turns out to be better science because then you actually do totally different experiments. And it was the big learning experience for me once I had gotten that thought in my mind, like, what if this is not true? What if this is not the way I think it is? Then the experiment that you design is just completely different. That was sort of the, the shocker, because, of course, we always think we always test null or try to reject null hypotheses. But um, in reality, we don't like to kill our pet ideas. We uh, mostly actually do research that sort of supports a general notion, let's say. And very often we don't aggressively design experiments to actively shoot down an idea because that requires completely different thinking and results in a completely different experimental design. This is what happened in this particular case. So I think it was good to dial back the enthusiasm just a little bit, um, be very critical. And so what does that mean in the end? Well, I guess the, the most important thing is like, be aware of your passion and of your emotions and your feeling when you're doing science. Of course, you do have them. Um, you're not a machine. Um, just be aware, <laughs> become aware of how you're feeling about things and then maybe adjust um, the way you go about answering a question. That's the most important point. And maybe there's always, of course, there needs to be passion because that the passion is important because it... Um, lets you not be held back by doubts. It makes you take risks and it allows you to make progress and not be delayed. It's very important to do that. Um, but maybe you need to do it in waves. Maybe you need to do it in phases. I haven't really figured out for myself which way to go. Maybe is it important to first very critically examine all the assumptions and if this is proven basically to hold up, then go all out with 
the passion um, stops all out? Um, or is it better to go the other way to um, believe in your ideas, really uh, go for them? Um, don't be delayed and held back by your doubts and insecurities and, um, and you know, don't be uh, held back by unwillingness to take a risk, but then take stock and uh, after you've done this for a little while, ask some critical questions. So I guess that's the, that's the advice. Do your science with passion, of course, uh, but um, also be critical to make sure that the assumptions are all met and um, examine your feelings you have about your work. I think that's important. Hi there. If you like this video, don't forget to click like down there and also remember to subscribe to the channel and feel free to leave comments. See ya!